Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from Healthy Wild Free. Today I wanna to share with you how you can avoid going to the chiropractor, keep your spine healthy, aligned, and strong, and just generally keep your posture healthier in general. So the reason we go to the chiropractor is because we're having an issue with our spine that has to do with compression of the spine or different muscle imbalances that are causing tightness, tension, or pain. So if you understand the sort of biomechanics of the spine and you understand how you can structure your body properly and align yourself and do certain practices that will help you in that, uh, you're gonna have way less tension or tightness, let alone getting further than that and having back pain. So you shouldn't be having back pain, you shouldn't even be having tightness or tension, uh, and if you do, that's a sign that you need to work on these different factors. So uh, I'm gonna give you three things today that are very important that are gonna help you strengthen your back and help your spine align and help your neck align as well so that you don't have that tightness or tension in your neck or your lower back or you know these sort of key areas that people go to the chiropractor for. So let's talk about compression first. What is compression? Compression is essentially uh, a gravitational force that is compressing something together. It's when uh, the weight of our body is compressing our spine. So uh, we often have compression because we sit often, uh, we sit in our car when we drive, we sit at work, we sit at home, uh, and that sitting produces slouching. And that slouching causes us to kind of lean forward. We're, you know, we're on our phones, we're doing this, and uh, that forward neck posture, our head weighs you know, several pounds, so our posture, you know, it harms our neck posture, it harms our back posture, and we're always kind of leaning forward. So that leaning forward posture is what creates uh, an imbalance in our spine, and that leaning forward creates compression. So what happens is that uh, when our body has strength in the front and the back, uh, these actually alter your posture. In other words, if I were to sit here and train only my biceps and only the front half of my body, that muscle tightness would literally pull my posture forward. If I were to only train my shoulders and my back and my glutes, right, the muscles in the back half of my body, that strengthening is tight, that tightening of muscle strengthens and actually pulls my posture back further into alignment. So it's really important to understand that because we are constantly leaning forward, stretching forward, that creates sort of a looseness. We're stre think about stretching, right? When you stretch, what does it do? It makes you more loose. So you're stretching forward, leaning forward, your head's forward, that creates a looseness in your back, so you're too flexible in your back forward, and you need to strengthen it by uh, doing strength conditioning to tighten your back so it pulls your posture back into alignment. So that's just something to keep in mind, and uh, the thing I recommend for that is really just doing training your back and your shoulders and your glutes, but also there's a really good uh, uh, video on YouTube, it's a 12 minute training from someone called Eric Goodman, and it's 12 minutes long, it's very simple, and it's a 12 minute practice. It's sort of like yoga, but it's different. I recommend it over yoga because it's going to support your posture much better. So it really just strengthens your lower back right here. And it strengthens, uh, you know, just your, uh, basically the, the backside of your body. So it helps to pull your posture back into alignment. So I highly recommend Foundation Training by Eric Goodman. I'll put a link to that below this video so that you can get more information on that and actually do the practice yourself. It's something I do personally. So the first thing is strengthening your back because we live in a forward head posture, forward sort of slouching society. So strengthening your back through something like foundation training, doing back building, uh, shoulder building, glute uh, building exercises are important because that helps straighten and align your posture. So that's the first thing, is strengthening the back half of your body. The second thing you can do, and that I highly recommend doing, is decompression uh, practices. So because of that compression on our spine, that gravitational pull, not only do we need to strengthen our muscles to pull our posture back into alignment, but decompression is just very helpful because that's partially to some degree what a, a chiropractor does. They do, they, you know, support your body in decompression. So they are, you know, sort of manipulating your neck. Um, you know, they're, they're altering your spine by utilizing the art of decompression. So one of the best ways that you can do that is very simple. You just go to you know the gym or the tree branch in your front yard, or you might even have something in your home. Like uh, over here, there's a staircase, and I literally just hang on one of the stairs and stretch out my body so that I'm hanging on that stair, and that's uh, decompressing my, my uh, shoulders, my spine, and really my entire back because it's using the gravitational field, it's using your weight to pull apart and decompress your spine. So I highly recommend just decompression, just literally finding something to hang onto and hanging onto that so that you can decompress your spine. This is very helpful. 
Uh, and it often you'll hear, you'll hear your back crack and it just feels good after that. Another really great decompression practice that you can do, uh, and I'll put a video to this below because I, I can't really show it here. Uh, you simply lay flat on your bed and then you put your head over the uh, outside of the bed and you let your neck rest back because once again, we have that forward neck posture. So our, the weight of our head is tilting forward. We have this looseness, looseness in our neck. So to stretch and decompress th this way backwards is really good because it helps to kind of recalibrate and bring balance back to your body. So decompression of your spine by hanging, decompression of your neck by letting your head hang back uh, in the opposite direction, uh, utilizing a bed or a, a couch or something like that. So I'll put a video of that below as well. And then the last thing you can do that's really valuable and really important that your chiropractor probably has not shared with you. And I wonder why chiropractors aren't talking about this, probably because this little change goes a long way in the long run. And obviously they want to pay, they want you to pay them to adjust their back. Uh, but the first two things I shared with you are already going to support you in adjusting your back and spine and keeping it healthy. But the third thing is also very important because in our modern day society, we wear shoes, we wear footwear that is actually bad for our posture. So what's interesting about this is my first job was at a shoe store and I didn't know this and I wore shoes that had a, a heel, elevated heel, which pretty much all shoes have an elevated heel and a toe box in the front that was narrow, meaning my toes were scrunched together. And what I recommend is barefoot minimalist shoes, specifically from a company called Zero, that's X-E-R-O, Zero Shoes. I've tried four different brands of barefoot minimalist shoes and I can confidently say that Zero Shoes are the best designed barefoot minimalist shoe, bar none. They are a flat sole, meaning there's no heel elevation, and the toe box is wider, so your toes have more mobility and balance. And this is important because the more surface area you have on the ground, the better balance you have and the, and the better you are on your feet. But what's more important for your posture in particular is that with zero shoes, and I actually have a few here to show you, this is one zero shoe. You can see that it's completely flat and you can see that the toe box is a little bit wider than most shoes. But uh, that flatness in the, in the back is important because that flatness, and they have different different types of shoes, uh, that flatness in the back is very important because most heels are elevated. Even if it's like a quarter inch, that height and that quarter inch, what that does is it causes you once again to lean forward. So that's like, I'm standing straight right now, I'm barefoot, but imagine I'm wearing a shoe, the heel is in the back, right? Imagine I'm wearing a shoe where the heel is slightly elevated this way, what is it gonna do? It's gonna push my body forward. And that's the problem with posture and spine alignment. So. What you want to do is wear barefoot minimal shoes so it helps to pull your body back slightly. Even that quarter inch or that you know half inch or whatever the elevation of your heel is on your shoe or different pairs of shoes. I mean, there's different elevation on different shoes. That is going to harm your posture because it's contributing to that loose back where that you know the the weight of your body of you know your neck, your head, your spine is compressing this way. When really you want to strengthen that, decompress it, and pull it back. So it's very simple. So just to recap this video real quick, number one, I recommend doing back, shoulder, and glute training exercises, exercises that, strength, that strengthen the back half of your body because that's gonna literally tighten. What muscles do is they tighten when you strengthen and condition them, they tighten. That tightening actually pulls your posture back into alignment. So that's the first thing. Uh, so you can do any exercises for the back half of your body and that's gonna help. And also foundation training in particular is very targeted and pinpointed. So I will put a link to foundation training below this video so you can actually get exactly what you need for that and do that 12 minute protocol. Um, do it every day for a while and see how you feel after I think three, four days a week, you'll feel different in your back. That's the first thing I recommend. The second thing is decompression by hanging because that decompression helps to, um, you know, uh, essentially stretch and uh, allow for the, the spine and the vertebrae to, to get that decompression that's really desperately needed. So decompression by hanging, decompression by letting your head and neck lay back. And the third and final thing is get yourself a pair of barefoot minimalist shoes. I recommend Zero, Zero, X-E-R-O, barefoot minimalist shoes. They have uh, sneakers, more casual walking shoes. These are so comfortable. They have sandals, I have, I have a pair of their boots. So I have like, I probably have like five pairs of their shoes now. Walking shoes, a couple pairs of sneakers, boots, sandals. Um, they're amazing, honestly. So I'll put the link to Zero Shoes below. Uh, when you need a shoe next, or if you just feel like your posture has been off and you wanna just start correcting this today, get a pair of those shoes. So I will also put an article below, um, once again, uh, with the foundation training, with the neck decompression, with the shoes, with all the resources I talked about in this video, I'll put a link below this video and an article on greenlivingtribe.com so you can read that and get the step-by-step -step and actually understand these things with a little more depth. So hopefully this video is valuable for you. I'm sure it's gonna 
uh, anger a lot of chiropractors. I don't really care. I don't owe chiropractors anything. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't go to a chiropractor myself anymore. And it's actually interesting. What led me to this was understanding that going to the chiropractor can actually be dangerous. You can actually be harmed by a chiropractor as they're manipulating your vertebrae. Uh, and I just, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I'd rather spend my money on my health and in ways where I can adjust that health, you know, nutrition, superfoods, diet, um, health tech, biohacking tools, whatever it may be. And to me, that's more valuable. To me, that's more important. So um, learn how to strengthen your spine, learn how to take care of your posture because when your posture is healthy, your circulation is better, your lymphatic flow of fluid in your body is better. Uh, you, you, everything flows better in your body. Your body is detoxifying better, uh, your oxygen is moving better, you know, lymphatic blood, all that, it's all moving better. You also feel better, you have less tightness, less tension, less pain, you feel more relaxed, you feel more at ease, you feel stronger, you feel better on your feet, you stand taller, you feel more confident. I mean, these are all very important and valuable things. So I think these are valuable to learn and stop to stop relying on a chiropractor is actually a step. It's a progressive step in ensuring that your health and your posture and your strength are conducive to your health overall. Because if you're going to a chiropractor and you keep having back issues, you're really not doing what you need to do to actually fix it. You need to do the things you need to do that I shared in this video to fix your posture and to have a strong back, to have a backbone, right? So you wanna actually build healthy hab habitual routines into your habit so that you're not constantly relying on a chiropractor or a doctor or you know whatever like your the goal is to build independence strength and health um, by understanding these principles so anyways check out the article below i'll link to everything i shared in this video so you can actually put these things into practice put these things into motion and uh, please like this video leave your comments if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video have a great day cheers bye